Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. Months ago, one of my friends had a cancer and uh, she went through the radiotherapy. And the radiotherapy caused her a lot of uh, skin problems, including the skin got a tan, a darken, dry, and a rash, and even blisters. So I give her an infused oil for topical use. She keep using it for three to four months. And now you can see the difference from the beginning to current, and there's a huge improvement. She's very satisfied. Um, so in this video, I will show you how to make this wonderful infused oil for the radiotherapy, uh, skin recovery, and this oil also very helpful to treat the acne and reduce eczema. I will explain what oil we use to do the infusion and what flowers or herbs we should use to make a good quality infusion. Radiotherapy is a part of uh, the oncology treatment. It uses an ionic beam to uh, control the cancerous tissue and by damaging its DNA, so leading to killing those uh, tumor cells so as to control the growth of the cancer. Because it's using the radiation or the ionic beam, it's like a, a strong UV light within the sun and it can cause the skin has the mild to moderate sunburn, similar like that. So during the process, well, based on the recipient and the dosage of the radiation, the skin problem can be mild to strong, cause the skin the tan, even rash, dry, scaly. So after the radiation, the skin may lose its part of the elasticity and it won't be as young as it was before. So her skin has a bad reaction there. By using the infused oil, the massage oil, becomes very effective. So for these the skin problems, the calendula has a beautiful effect. It can help reduce those skin problems and recover the skin, the health, rebuild its elasticity. So while we are making the calendula infused oil, first question, what oil, the carrier oil, or the extraction oil we use? By choosing a carrier oil or infused oil, there are a few factors. The first one, the cost. There's some of the oil are very good, but it's too costly, or their, their production is too low. So they are not useful for our daily use. The second, you want to have a good grade, good quality. So organic becomes very important. And the third one, unrefined and refined. So what is the difference between unrefined and refined and which one we should use? So the answer is we should use unrefined. During the refining process, the older or the phytochemicals within the oil, the vegetable oil, will be removed because they may degrade or in other words, they may go bad during a long term of storage. So they remove them to have the oil have longer shelf life. Or this part of the chemicals like vitamins, wax, they may change the liquid performance of the oil under a different temperatures, like a lower temperature, the wax will become more rigid. So it makes the oil harder to pour. And so that's the reason they remove those portion. But for the skin, those phytochemicals, vitamins, those are good part. Those are good part for our skin. So we want to keep them. Today, I'm using the unrefined co-pressed almond oil. The almond oil has a good portion of uh, 
omega-3, omega-6. You have a lower portion of uh, palmitic acid. That is saturated uh, fatty acid is not good for the acne and the eczema. The second question is, what status of the herb we should use? Do we use a fresh or dry? When we are making infused oil, the first choice is dry herbs. The dry herbs has a very little moisture. It's compared with the fresh. The fresh herbs have 50% or even more. Some of them have even 80% of the moisture. Those moisture can cause our infused oil go bad quickly because when you have water and the oil mix, it gives a perfect environment for the bacteria to grow. So we're gonna use the dry herbs. Today, I'm using the dry calendula flower, the whole flower, and also add a portion of dry lavender buds because the lavender buds has a very good anti-inflammation properties. This is like an add-on for our calendula infused oil. We make an infused oil, you need a, a this is a one quart, about 1,000 milliliter the mason jar. I'm using the one, this is second time I make this uh, a batch of oil, so I just uh, reuse it. The oil was left over from the last infusion. And of course, you, uh, you're gonna need uh, the dry calendula flour. Um, find those organic, uh, whole flour. The process is easy. Just uh, add the flour into the jar. So I added the 600 milliliter or two and a half cup. And then I added the lavender. This is a dry lavender buds. And filled it to the 800. So now it's 800. So that's how much the flour we're gonna need. Um, the first step, uh, there's a, a little trick here. Because we are using the dry flour, uh, the structure of the flour become collapsed. Uh, when we extract them, we want them open so the so the phytochemicals can be released easily. So the first step is add a, uh, the high concentration of uh, alcohol. Remember, use a high concentration. So I'm using this 189 proof. It's around 95%. It's really high. Higher is better. And just pour it in. And mix them. So wait for 30 minutes before we uh, pour the oil in. After uh, 30 minutes, you can add the uh, oil, uh, almond oil, as I mentioned. Just pour all the way up to the top.
Infusion is a slow process. It takes about 30 days and a longer time is better, 30 to 60 days. And then you can drain it by using a lead hand press and use the oil. Thank you for watching. Please let me know your experience by using the calendula and the infused oil and what is your favorite infused oil and what benefits you got from them. Thank you and see you next time.